Good morning, friends. Today we will install Apache Spark and Hadoop in our system. So let's start this installation. Just go to the Spark official site. By clicking this, I will provide this in the description. So once you open this, it will open uh, this page. And uh, we will be using this 3.3.1 version, which is October 25th, uh, 2022 version. So in this whole tutorial series, we'll be stick to this version. For the package type, if you scroll down here, drop down. So it's uh, we will using the first uh, Apache Hadoop 3.3 and later. We'll not using Scala 1 version because uh, we already installed Scala 2.13.10 version in our previous video. So we'll just stick to this. And once we click on this, then we can download this uh, zipped version, uh, which already contains the Spark binaries and Hadoop 3. By, by clicking this, it will uh, download this zipped file to your local system to, uh, to like downloads folder or somewhere. So once this uh, zipped file has been downloaded to your folder, uh, then you can uh, unzip it. So the command that we are going to use here is a tar command. So I will just copy this tar minus zxvf. And uh, by using this command, it will be able to unzip this file. So we, if I go here, I have downloaded uh, this here in this local folder. And then after uh, clicking on this, unzipping this uh, tar minus zxvf, you will be able to extract this and the folder will be appearing here. Because I have already uh, extracted this in my in my local directory, so I will just navigate it and show how it looks. So I'll go to CD uh, Spark. Yeah, so uh, this is the folder that I have created. And if I do an ls minus LRT, so it should be showing me all this bin folder. So in the bin folder, if I go to bin and do a clear and uh, ls minus LRT again, we can see that all those uh, all these binary uh, versions of uh, Spark has been installed here. For example, we can also like run like shell command using uh, Spark shell two command and all, so SQL and all. So this, uh, after doing this, I mean we are able to successfully install uh, Spark and Adapt uh, and uh, Apache Hadoop. So once we are done with this uh, installation, we need to set the environment variables. So we need to uh, set two variables: Spark home and Hadoop home to the same uh, folder that we uh, that we have just created. So this folder, which should be Spark uh, 3.3.1 bin Hadoop 3. So let's set this variable. So I'll go to edit uh, the system variables, edit the system variables. And here I'll click on environment variables and I'll create two uh, Hadoop home, which is set here. Hadoop underscore home, it is set to the same, uh, the whole folder path that we just uh, unzipped just now. Spark 3.3.1 bin Hadoop 3. And similarly, I will also uh, do it for uh, Spark home as well. So if I go down, it should be, there should be a Spark home. So here I have already created this one. Spark underscore home in the same, same folder as Hadoop home. And once we are done with this, we need to edit the path variable to include this. So if I go here and uh, into the path variable, uh, Spark bin is already there, and, so, and similarly Hadoop bin would be uh, would be there. Both are pointing to the same one, but it's good to like uh, include it as a variable Spark home and Hadoop home, and set it in the path. So once we are done with uh, installation of Spark home and Hadoop home, and setting the uh, path variable to include these two variables here, then the next is that we have to download winutils.exe. This is only needed for Windows uh, OS. We are using Windows OS, so we have to download this winutils.exe and place it in uh, our bin folder. By bin folder, I mean this that we have to place it here. So you can see that I have already downloaded it and put it in the in this folder in the Spark Home bin folder. Okay, so this is required, and uh, for the exact uh, like uh, location or the the URL link, I will put it in the description. Now, since we have installed Spark and Hadoop in our local system, now let's verify the Spark installation by running some command related to the Apache Spark in the next video. See you all in the next video.